Hello everybody, it's the uh, 27th of February 2021 and uh, today I'm going to be repotting these two dawn redwood. Uh, they're a pair of trees grown from the same batch of seed. Uh, if memory serves I had a batch of 10 or a packet of 10 seeds and only two of them actually germinated and these are they. Uh, this one on the left has spent most of its life in this large-ish uh, bonsai pot which has to an extent worked like a training pot and given it space to grow um, but obviously not the volume of soil that the other one has had in the flower pot there which is uh, well it's considerably larger probably double the height and I do want that one to grow to be a big tree so um, to that end I'm going to be putting it into a large pond planter which will um, hopefully air prune the roots and give me a nice fibrous root system to work on in a few years time at the same time as giving it a good volume of soil to um, put on some even more uh, more growth let's move you in a little bit closer so you can see the individual trees before I do that I'll just pop in this um, drinks can soft drinks can is just a regular size drinks can so you can actually have a sense of the scale of these trees uh, as you can see the buds are popping nicely so it's a, a very good time to be repotting these trees you can see on this one so where it had a chop early in its life um, and then a new leader was allowed to grow up giving it a nice bit of taper uh, so yeah so without further ado let's start getting these trees out of the pot I'm going to start with the larger of the two trees and uh, this is the uh, pond planter I'm going to put it in uh, they were I paid six pounds for three of these so you know um, very cheap and uh, you can buy air pots that uh, root prune your roots for you but they cost a lot of money if you buy specialist ones um, I've read on the internet that these work well and the experiments I've tried so far have um, back that up so that's the pot I'm going to put this tree in let's see if we can get this out I can get the soil out but the pot isn't moving it's been in here as I say probably three or four years I had completely forgotten that I'd placed it over the top of a CD. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera off and move it out of the way so I don't knock it over while I wrestle this thing out of its pot. As you can see, the pot's well and truly, uh, the tree is well and truly root bound, and uh, for some strange reason, we have roots on this side of the tree. And nothing on this side yet, but uh, mm, we will see. I think the easiest way to reduce this root ball is to take the saw to it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've got two of these pruning saws, I've picked them up quite cheaply, um, and uh, one I keep for root work, one I keep for top work, and uh, I can actually, because I think I paid £9.99 for, £9 for these, um, you know, if you ruin one completely, sort them over, get a new one, and then that becomes one for the top, one for the top becomes the one for the roots, and the one for the roots goes in the bin, or to the recycling centre. Um, okay, so... There was a thick old chunky piece in there, a couple of thick old chunky pieces. Let's see if we can tease some of these roots out. Hopefully this will begin to put out some more roots above that CD. There's an old label. Obviously I'm not going to be too fussed about radial root system because I'm hoping that will develop a 
above that CD. Can't believe I'd forgotten that was there, but there you are. So I'm going to comb out some of that just to get it growing out into its new medium. And uh, where I've got these couple of big bits of wood, I'm going to see if I can't um, nibble them back a bit, as it were. One day I shall want this to go into a shallow pot. So again, I have a set of cutters that I use just for root work. I'm going to see how easily I can remove that. Just sort of nibble away that chunk. That's better. So that's better. So with that it's just a question of getting it into a pot. So I'm going to start to fill the pot with my regular mix which is uh, the mix I'm using this year is six parts kitty friend pink cat litter and uh, four parts potting grit and two parts organic matter. Um, and I think that'll work with these trees. So I actually probably want to bring that up a little bit more, but I'm going to put some continuous release fertilizer in there, a generous amount, and leave it near the top of this. I'm not going to mix it down into the lower levels because I do want it to leach downwards into the compost rather than be in the bottom and leach out of the bottom of the pot. Um, so I do want to have the tree low enough that it's well above that CD and I think that's actually not too bad. I'm not too fussed about front or back at the moment. Um, I have a scar up here which will probably be healed by the time I get this to be a big tree anyway. So I'm just going to whack it in at that angle, um, make sure it's properly embedded into the soil below, and then I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to put in a little bit more fertilizer. Quite a large pot so I'm being fairly generous more generous than it actually says on the instructions but as I say it's a very free draining compost so a certain amount of the fertilizer will just drain out and uh, so I will also top it up with liquid feeds from time to time as well fine that's quite secure in the pot and it will be when it's watered. We'll look at setting up the top. Move you back a little okay, bit. So I'm going to remove some of these um, side branches that I don't like and uh, don't want to keep in the final design and uh, help make up for the fact that I have removed a ton of root. So that one I don't like this piece much either. And then I'm going to wire up that top to be the new leader. Okay, just a small piece of wire. Okay. So, just going to wrap it around. This branch is very flexible, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting it up to being the new leader, like so. 
anyway, it's going to be fairly straight, but that's what I want from a dorm redwood. And uh, okay, so we'll just shorten back these other pieces. Uh, in fact, a little bit more than that. I'm going to remove both of those. Uh, the bar branch arrangement, I couldn't decide which one I liked, so they both go in. Okay, so there we go. I've removed um, well most of the branches from the bottom third of the trunk and uh, just kept this as a fattening sacrifice branch. And uh, we'll just let this grow for the next couple of seasons. Uh, we'll look in on it from time to time and uh, see how big it gets. Let's move on to the next tree. Okay, so hopefully um, it won't be such an exciting time trying to get this pot out, uh, plant out of it. Pot. Um, no. Excellent. That was much easier. First thing I want to do before I touch the roots is give this pot a clean. Um, it hasn't been cleaned probably or properly since probably since the plant went into it which was 2018 um, I would think uh, they were grown from seed 2017 spent the first year in a nine centimeter pot and then potted into their respective pots the following year so yeah 2018 would have been when that went in um, but they are cleaning up quite nicely I'll do the rest of that off camera so it's not to bore you anyway so that's um that's cleaned up quite nicely. Now we can get on with the um, the repotting job. First thing I'm going to do is just obviously comb out some of these roots. One thing I'm glad of with both of these trees, I've not found any sign of vine weevil. Thank goodness. Uh, if you haven't already seen my little adventure with the liquid amber, which was absolutely riddled with vine weevil, um, but of course it was in ordinary nursery compost rather than um, this gritty mix and vine weevils. I'm told don't like a gritty, uh, a gritty mix to lay their eggs into, so that's probably why, or hopefully why. Also, of course, um, I treat all my trees spring and autumn with nematodes to kill the beasties, and some I must have missed treating uh, the liquid amber. Well, we've got a massive root. Um, I'm just going to cut that away. So yeah, no sign of any wee critters in there, which is great news. And actually the, the roots are not terrible. They're not fabulous, but they're fairly radial. Um, that's just broken one off, but I kind of like this little split in the trunk here. So I might actually raise it up slightly to expose these roots a little more. And expose that little little gap like a little tunnel to wonderland or something i don't know okay so that's looking better we'll see if we can't um, get that back into its pot but before i do that i'm going to shorten it make it a little bit easier to handle 
and uh, we have a chop just here and I'm gonna chop it here like so nice little wound and as I said before these trees are quite flexible so a small piece of wire will enable me to wire that up to be the new leader but I'll do that once I've got the tree back in its pot okay so I've replaced the drainage screens um, I simply use this little new piece of uh, wire pushed through and pulled with the pliers from the other side I find that works perfectly well without using all the fancy twirls and twiddles that some people recommend and then um, I'm not going to be tying this tree I've got a nice flat root ball um, I will be protecting it for a few weeks at least anyway but uh, it'll be moved out of the way of any significant uh, winds that we might get at least for the first year you know if we have a storm forecast my garden can get a bit windy and so I will move it then I'm going to place it fairly symmetrically in the pot yeah liking that um, it's raised I want it raised up a little more however so I'm going to pop in some continuous release fertilizer and then a handful of soil in the center there just to raise it up a little bit yeah okay raise it up squidge it down and these roots have now got plenty of room to spread out in this pot and uh, get it growing nicely again that's it a little bit more surprising how the levels go down once you start eliminating those air pockets you get the picture with that so well turn the camera off and uh, come back in a minute so now based on that root structure which I'll give you a quick tutorial um, and some damage to the right root but it'll be all right um, I'm considering this to be my my front another piece of wire and we'll wire up that top leader around the main trunk and uh, up the leader and then we can bring it up like so okay a little bit more they are very flexible trees which is really useful but they do set relatively quickly as well so um, I'm thinking my end height uh, will be just a little bit taller than this uh, so I'm gonna chop it to there and we have a bud here at the front which I hope will then take over and go upwards so I'm going to chop it above that and use that piece of wire to bend that down just a little. Hopefully that bud will then shoot upwards. Okay, so coming back down the trunk. I'm not liking this branch. I think it's too high for my design that I have in my mind's eye. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to take out this that's coming to the front uh, as well as 
this one and I don't like this piece either so gone I'm going to leave this as my first branch um, I may leave both of these as rear branches and decide what to do with them at a later date and then just trim everything else back slightly so that I can begin to build some branching um, you know I've removed a lot of root so I think that'll be a fair balance and that'll give the tree a chance to start throwing me out some branches and I can start making some decisions build myself a nice canopy so let's move back slightly give you a quick twirl it's just a stick in a pot now realistically um, but it has some reasonable taper and uh, I am relatively pleased. It's nice and central in this pot, which I think works well with a pot of this shape, and uh, I can see it has a future. Thank you all for watching. Please, please, please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.